Hey, what's up everybody? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. We are here on field 25. We're going to get our winter wheat seeded over here and wrap up our fall seeding and uh, be done with it until next year when uh, spring comes around. Made that corner way too sharp. Whoops. Um... Yeah, get the last field here planted, and then we're done with this uh, setup here until spring. So whenever we go to put it away, we'll probably just spray it down. And uh, when we put it in the shed, we're probably just going to leave it hooked up. Because nothing else is coming out of the shed, aside from our cultivator, until spring. <laughs> And beans are cultivators on the opposite end of our storage shed from where this sits. We uh, will be just fine leaving this guy hooked up and just pulling it right in. So we're definitely not uh, seeding at quite as high of a rate in this field for the most part um, due to our soil type in this field which is a bit of a plus we're not going to go through quite as much seed but we are still going to go through a fairly decent amount all I know is our uh, 4,400 John Deere there is going to get quite the workout next fall with uh, the amount of grains that we are putting in between our wheat, oats, and our soybeans. It is going to be a very busy machine in the spring. <coughs> we are going to have a fairly decent amount of uh, corn ground too so our TR97 there is also going to get a workout but not quite as big of a workout as uh, that 4400 is going to get This field shouldn't take us too terribly long, and then we'll be able to get this and our seed truck both uh, put away. We're not doing too bad on seed either. Our... Uh, Tender truck is still just under three quarter of the way full, so this uh, seed is definitely going to last us a good bit, which is a good thing. We definitely have a lot of uh, work to go yet with this tractor. This is kind of the uh, main workhorse uh, for a lot of our field work. I mean, this thing runs our spreader, uh, our drill, and it's probably going to run our corn planter as well. <coughs> The uh, Traction King is kind of our plowing tractor. The uh, 4960 there is kind of our main uh, tillage tractor.
or cultivator tractor, I should say, not tillage, but main cultivator tractor. Everything's kind of got its place around here. Or we may even use the uh, 4960 to run our 900 Cyclo next spring. We'll just kind of have to see. It definitely would be a little bit overkill for this thing. Well, maybe, maybe not, but with the uh, duels on it, they, uh, it uh, definitely would seem extremely large on this tractor or on this drill if I could uh, English correctly I guess we'll be doing some fall seeding here today and then tomorrow we'll uh, be back up in Canada doing finishing up a little bit of spring seeding and then doing some rolling so it'll be uh, seeding and rolling all around for most of this week we got plenty of it to get done, so. Whole lot of field work going on. Kind of makes, makes things a little bit boring because uh, we're doing the exact same thing on both of our series, but it definitely won't stay that way for very long like I mentioned before I mean we've got a lot of extra things on this uh, series that we don't have going on the other one so I mean we've got uh, hay making and baling straw on this series we got cows to feed uh, when the time comes we'll have cows that need to be moved which is probably something that we're going to be doing here soon. Um, getting our Angus cattle moved over to their winter barn. We'll be moving them from uh, up there in the freestall down here into our main dairy, well, our main cow yard, I guess. It's technically called the main dairy but we're going to refer to it as the main cow yard just because our dairy cows are not the only thing that's going to be in there so we'll have them guys uh, we'll do a little bit of cow moving and get them uh, brought from our free stall down here into our main yard and probably end up having to dump in some more feed by then as well we're probably not going to bring them down until November or December so they still got another month or two until they get uh, brought down It'll definitely be a process getting them all moved. We have uh, 50 head of Angus cows that we got to move 15 at a time, so it'll definitely take us a little bit. But uh, we'll be able to get her done.
definitely is not going to take us long. So we might even be able to get started on our rolling today. We're only uh, a little over 10 minutes in, and we're... We're definitely uh, booking it on this field, so that is very good. So yeah, we might actually be able to uh, get a good start on our rolling as well. are just about done and we're just about out of seed too so it's going to be interesting to see if we can finish off without having to fill it would definitely be nice but if we got to fill we got to fill not a big deal it'll be it, <coughs> it'll be in the planner for spring but I think we're going to be able to get by with it. We're going to see here. We got just a tiny bit left here. 2%. 1. Oh, not quite, huh? Let's see. Let's see. Moment of truth. Yes, we can. Perfect. Well, then we will just leave this tiny little bit in here, and then we'll uh, worry about filling it in the spring. And I think we're even just going to skip out on washing this, because this is uh, going to get used right away again. So I think we will just hold off on it. And we'll just let this guy sit in the shed. And then, uh, then once we get done in the spring with it, then we'll get it cleaned up. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. Just barely fit. But we made her work. And I want to set this so I can still get by to get the truck in here perfect so leave that guy there we'll jump in here and we're gonna get this guy put in the shed Perfect. And then we're just going to shut this door and jump in our 5020. And we're going to get going on some rolling. Oops, wrong button there. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. Okay, well, what we're going to do here, oh no, I can kind of tell, I guess, where we've gone and where we haven't. Starting to think that we should have kept the uh, roller that we had. I'm starting to think that we should be doing this a little bit differently, too. I think what we're going to do...
do is we're going to roll this at an angle. Yes, I know I don't have access to this land. That's fine. I don't want access to this land. There we go. Now we'll be able to really tell where we have and haven't rolled. Gotta have that little fender radio there. Would not be a classic John Deere without it. This thing is just barely bigger than this tractor. It definitely would be nice if, uh, you know, it showed some other kind of texture for what, oh, okay, apparently it does not want to turn nicely, um, for the ground that you have rolled versus it being literally the exact same texture as your seeded ground. Definitely makes it kind of annoying. I know I kind of rambled on about that yesterday, but... It's just, uh, like I said, it's just very annoying having to deal with that. Totally not paying attention, wiped out that tree.
This is quite the uh, little setup, though. And it is nice, too, that we are able to be running 10 mile an hour. That's definitely going to help uh, speed this up just a little bit. Still going to be a uh, very much time-consuming project. But we will get the job done nonetheless here. And if anybody knows of any good uh, rollers that are kind of old school themed, that are a little bit bigger than this, uh, they don't have to be super huge. Definitely let me know down below and... Uh, Give me some suggestions there for that. Because I would definitely love to get rid of this little thing. Because it is just going to take way too long for doing all of our fields, especially fields 30 and 31. It's going to be ridiculous. We might keep it around for doing our strips, but that might be it. Uh, depending on what, uh, depending on if I can find something else, or if you guys think that I should have stuck with the sunflower roller, uh, let me know. I mean, it's not really quite true to this time frame that we are kind of trying to run this off of, but. gonna have to do something because yeah it's definitely gonna take way too long to do all of our fields with this one I don't know about you guys but rolling definitely ain't my favorite thing to do in real life or in game well in real life it ain't all that bad but Still not the most fun. Well, we've got that section done. And I know, I should have been doing a headland pass, but you know what, it's rolling, it's not that big of a deal.
There, we'll make it a little bit better and we'll pick it up at the ends, but at least that end for sure. Wow, we're actually moving right along with this too. Kind of surprised. I mean, we're we're knocking this field out quick, which is definitely nice. Don't don't get me wrong there. I am glad that it's moving right along. So, I see that we are kind of starting to near the end of this video. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to finish rolling this field. Uh, just so I can kind of get it done. I mean, it's not really the most exciting job on the farm. So I definitely don't want to spend a whole lot of extra time on it if I don't have to. Or, whoops, uh, or, you know, make a whole lot of video of it, because everybody knows what it's like, and it's not like there's anything extra that comes with doing this job, so that's probably what I'll do, um, get that kind of finished up and get this field wrapped up so that way we can come back excuse me come back tomorrow and uh, get oops get our last field there done and uh, be done with our fall field work man this tractor just drinks fuel we're already uh, down 20% on our fuel level here. Just off of this field. That's all that this tractor has done. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today. When we come back tomorrow, we will be over on field 20 Blech. Field 25, and we'll get that field done up and get this job finished for the year. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And uh, as always, we'll catch you all tomorrow.